I'm Miss Nikki from the Manhattan Elwood Library. I am here today with a read aloud of Tiny T-Rex and The Very Dark Dark by Jonathan Stutzman. And I am reading this today with the generous permission of Chronicle Books. All right, let's see what happens. I'm very excited to share this story. All right, so here's Tiny's friend. He said, Tiny, it will be dark soon. And Tiny says, Yes, Pointy, soon it will be very dark. Tiny T-Rex and the very dark, dark. It is our first camp out in the backyard and we are nervous. We have never slept outside before. We are mighty beasts. I am a Rex. Pointy is a pointy. And Bob is my special squish. He's his little teddy bear down there. But even mighty beasts get scared if we can't sleep with our nighty lights. When I am inside, the dark doesn't seem so dark. There's his house there. But when I am outside, the dark is very dark. Outside, there are no nighty lights to turn on. And when there are no nighty lights, the grumbles and nombies come. I wonder what those are. Mother says, there's always a light shining somewhere, Tiny, even in the dark. If you are brave and look hard enough, you will find it. But it's hard to be brave when you are scared of the crawly creeps, and it is hard to look for something when you have your eyes shut. Pointy and I thought up a secret plan to be brave. When the very dark dark comes, we will be ready. First, we will build a hiding fort. All right, so they drew out plans for the fort, so I'll let you take a look at those. To hide our snacks and ourselves. I agree. Definitely need to hide these snacks from whatever is out there. All right, so here's a picture. They're building the fort here. All right, they're doing pretty good. I don't feel hidden. Uh-oh. He's too big for this fort, isn't he? Next, we will make special helmets to protect our brains from the grumbles and nombies. All right, helmets are good. And he says, I need a bigger helmet. Look at how small that is. The next part of the plan is the most important. We must hurry. We are running out of time. The crawly creeps are closing in. And then there's a noise. Tap, 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 tap. Uh oh, I hear the grumbles. They are close. Oh no. What's he hearing? He's hearing his dad snoring, huh? Crunch, crunch, crunch. Oh, look at that. Run, Pointy! The Numbies are here! Who do you think that is? Do you think that's his mom, maybe? Alright, so here's a picture. They are running outside to their fort. We gotta hide. This is it! Our secret plan is almost ready. What do you think the secret plan is? They've got all of these lights up in the trees. I think maybe they're gonna turn these lights on. They've even got a special 
lava lamp down here. They've got another lamp. Let's see if this works. Now we will not be scared of the very dark dark because we have made a super bright nighty light. All right, so he's got the plug right there. He's plugging it in. It says click. Wow, look at that. That's so nice. <gasps> the lights went out. Our plan did not work. The very dark, dark has got us. Oh, no. I am scared. Pointy is scared. Bob is scared. We are all scared together. Maybe we can be brave together, too. I like that idea. Brave enough to open our eyes, look very, very hard. Wow, that's even better. Do you see what they're looking at? There's all of these stars up here for light. That's nice. And find some light. The end. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that story as much as I did. I thought that was really, really nice. Um, stay tuned for next week, and I look forward to reading to you again soon.